One of the things they should not do is call me up and say, can I leave at four o'clock instead of 4.30 every day? <laughs> I think changing the time in terms of what the hours are supposed to be and shortening it tells me that they just want to run out the door. What does that feel like to you? You've just invested all this time in bringing this person on board. It tells me they either are not happy with what they're doing or they just wanted to get hired somewhere and their focus is not on their career but on what happens after they leave work. What what are you what are you thinking <laughs> when you get that call like, "Hey, can I leave early every day?" <clears throat> I have gotten that call where I've had the hours, I've been asked to please change the hours. I, it just doesn't sit well. It tells me that at the beginning of their career, it's not their main priority. And I want to know that, especially as a new grad, they're career focused. And there's sometimes reasons for it, and that's different, but this is, I have had unfortunately this happened where I'm asked how many breaks can I get why is it only 10 minutes and mm -hmm. um why the last patient has to be scheduled at 4 30 and not so questions around timing and changing the goalposts once you once they get on your doorstep and are starting yes what's another red flag that uh, I'm sorry not another red flag what's another thing basically a red flag but what not to do like don't do this when you start your career don't piss off the people that you work with in your surrounding area in terms of well you got a story i could tell already <laughs> you're you're thinking of a story so i want you to tell it tell us a story of someone who came in and and uh, pissed people off <laughs> it it's a it was a form of a person being hired and starting and thinking that they were entitled to more than they were entitled to um, in terms of who would be assisting or possibly helping them with certain things in the area. Maybe it was a nurse or somebody who was going to help them with faxing and that person came and said that they were supposed to have this for them when they started and it didn't happen. And they kind of went through that office and just, you know, was directing other people to do things that really wasn't their job to do. So I, th I think that in different organizations, sometimes staffing mm -hmm. is short. Sometimes you can't always have everything that's supposed to be there maybe it'll be there eventually in terms of maybe assistance or maybe you were promised a nurse but now you don't have a nurse or maybe you have to share a nurse if you're what, working. What's the team thinking when that happens? They're thinking that this is going to be a problem PA or a problem NP and Are they they're talking amongst themselves yes, about it? Yes, they're talking amongst <laughs> themselves about it because we hear about it from other departments and they will go out of their way not to help that person after that. So it's you just don't want to build a reputation as being that person who just wants everything handed to them. What What do you think another, you know, any other things that you could think of, like, you know, absolutely do not do this when you first start your, your job as a PA? Another thing that I, I, I guess to me this is the most important, is to say to somebody, I can't do this, in terms of just the role <laughs> and the role being a PA it's scary it's really scary it's scary when you first realize that you have a life that you're taking care of mm -hmm. and you're responsible for that life and maybe it is a complicated patient don't freak out just mm -hmm. just don't freak out it's it's anxiety provoking and there's a lot of acknowledgement in the field about that. And I think that being able to say to your manager, I am feeling anxious, mm -hmm. this is overwhelming, and I, I do want to ask for help with this because we will help you. Human resources will help you. Organizations have the ability to help with things like this. And it's not always new grads. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's a provider who's been around for years. But it to hear somebody say, I can't, I can't, you know, I just, I can't do this. You're giving up too soon. 
Have you ever been, have you ever made what you thought would be a great hire and they arrive at your doorstep and you are surprised? What's been like the biggest surprise you could think of in, in making a hire? For good or bad? Either one. <laughs> we could start with one and then we'll go to the other. Um, I think the the worst was probably hiring somebody that was so well spoken about and referred and did incredibly wonderful on the interview process and and ended up leaving after two days of because just felt that they couldn't do it and was not open to any type of assistance or help or just what did know. that look like they mean they couldn't do it what did what did that what did that actually look like it was it was difficult it was it was that person really being extremely unhappy to the point of being almost in tears of it's too overwhelming and just completely falling apart and and you want to help that person and you want to be able to keep that person there you know even mm -hmm. more because they can overcome it they will overcome it they just need the right resources which would be provided but to see that they don't even want to stop and, or can't go past that point and they leave so what are you um, thinking at that point? You, you think a lot of things. You think that you invested a lot of time. It takes a lot of time to credential a PA, to get them on board, to train them. They they go through the organizational training. They go through the orientation process. You've taken time. You're, spend, you're speaking with them. You're giving them resources. And after all of that, maybe lasting two days, and to see that person leave, you feel like this was a waste. Disappointment. Um, it's a disappointment. And... Um, and it's not somebody that you want to leave. It's somebody you want to help because you know that, you know what, with the right training, resources, um, support, that they, they would be okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you, you want them to take that time. But So that's difficult. Mm -hmm.